What's going on guys? How's everybody doing? Happy New Year's to everybody. Crazy times are in right now. We are in a lockdown again. Um, this video guys is a little late. I usually upload this video uh, mid-December but it's now second week of January. But here it is. My favorite moments. My favorite personal moments of 2020 in my... We call it fishing career, right? So starting with my favorite moment is... The Way Up North Tour, if you guys didn't see the Way Up North Tour, you're new to the channel or just didn't watch it, I went to fish for bass with some buddies up in Sudbury where bass season opens mid-May and uh, fishing for pre-spawn bass, amazing experience, so much fun, all the, the guys I went up with are just great people, enjoy. Four guys, yeah. Don't up. cheers to Pierre and Eric putting us on fish here, boys. I think it's safe to say that every year most of us challenge ourselves in different ways. Now, when it comes to fishing, I love you know reading about new techniques, watching videos, learning from other people that are better than me. And one of the techniques that did intimidate me for a while was throwing big swim baits. So I said to myself, you know what, let me learn the swim baits. I didn't do it as much as I probably should. There's a lot to learn in there. I'm a huge rookie. Uh, but I did manage to catch my first swim bait fish. Oh, got one. I'm Italian. Woo! Oh, first Italian fish. Yes. Look at that, guys. Mega Bass Italian, first one ever. Amazing. Amazing. Look at the lure, Ollie. Hold on. Good one, man. Okay, now you all know that I mainly target bass. And recently I've been trying to also get my hands dirty in the musky world. But that being said, I, I wasn't able to break my personal best bass this year. Hold on. Sorry. I broke my personal best in length, which you'll see it soon, but I also got a few personal best pike and musky, and you're going to see these right now. It's not the species I'm after, but this thing is massive. Oh, maybe my personal best pike. I get a quick measure on that. Oh, he's past 30. 31, 32 maybe. It's a beauty. Ooh. 
take me for a ride. He's a good one, he's a good one. Touches 39, 39 and a quarter. 39 and a quarter. Nice one, bro. Yeah. Don't mind me in the water, guys. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I jumped off the kayak to measure him offshore and I didn't realize uh, it was mud bottom here. So I'm sinking. I'm gonna let this guy go. Revive him a little bit. It's huge. He's not gonna like this. Of course, I catch a muskie in the head rig. I've been targeting muskie all fall. Throwing a big bait and I haven't gotten any. Today, I come here trying to target smallies. I hook onto a muskie on a head rig using. Eight, eight pound test. Let's go. Thanks, Adam, for the assist. That muskie was crazy. I still can't believe it. I caught it on an end rig. I wasn't even targeting muskie that day, but new personal best. Uh, we cal I didn't have uh, my big ruler with me, so the paddle we were using has lines on it, measuring lines. It ends at 36, but the leftover, I kind of put my hog trough beside it, so... It was an extra four inches, so it's a 40 inch muskie. Crazy. But anyway, guys, the last footage I want to show you guys is my uh, it is my personal best moment of, of, of the year. I started off the tournament season strong. And I always keep this behind me. Where is it? Right there. OKBT second place, the Ontario Kayak Bass Trail. The first tournament of the season last year was in Sturgeon Lake. And uh, I got there, and I I thought I was going to win. I was freaking out. My heart was racing. I was super excited. And, and uh, at 2 p.m., I was in first place. After that, the, the leaderboard gets uh, cut off. You, you're not able to see it. So I was nervous the whole time. I managed to get a quarter-inch upgrade, but it wasn't enough to keep me in first place. Um, somebody passed me, and I took the second place, which I'm really proud of myself, super happy. And not only that, that's when I caught my new personal best smallie in length, a 20 and a half. Enjoy, guys.
Gotta be at least at least twenty inches. Somebody knew you passed me by a lot then. Second place with a score of 8375. Gentleman also took home the big bass, so oh. it's another nice payday for him today. Nelson Bruins. Ooh, nice. Nelson takes home second. 9975 plus his big bass. Oh, it's not so bad, bro. Then. Yeah. Add it up. Yeah, we got big bass. 1200 bucks. Sick, 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 sick. First, well, well, guys, it looks like I finished second place with 8375. Thanks, all Yeah, I'm really happy with today's results. Um, filming with my phone because I can't find my tripod, but anyway, guys, that is it for my most memorable moments of 2020. Thank you very much for tuning into this video. I appreciate all of you, all the new subscribers, and there's uh, I think one more video I might upload uh, from 2020. Uh, and this video is going to be like those outings that, that, you know, I went out fishing and I only caught one or two fish. So I'm just going to put them all together and make a video of, you know, the, um, the ones that didn't make a video. <laughs> I don't know how to call it. But anyway, guys, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you for all the love you've been showing me. Stay safe during this crazy lockdown, crazy times. Please. And hopefully I get to see some of you on the water in the tournaments. In a kayak, doesn't matter. I'll see you soon.